The population of the Earth just hit 8 billion, and even though it was projected to happen, governments of nations are still unsure of where 8 billion people will live. Hence, they started looking at alternatives to Earth long before now. Countries like China, Japan, Russia, and even some African countries are all engaged in the interplanetary race. But can humans survive outside of what we've come to know as our home? From the beginning, humans have always been fascinated by the idea of another world, and we see that in movies, books, and exploration projects. Earth just never seemed to be enough for humans, which explains why man never gave up and will always continue to find learning more about those worlds far from us, with Mars being the most plausible option. With the right technology, it may be possible for man to live outside of this planet, and if it's a question of technology, is Elon Musk the messiah of our time? He is often referred to as the Tony Stark of real life due to his knack for technological revolution, so it's no surprise that he has undertaken this fairy tale like project. The tech king intends to create an Earth colony on Mars and has and is still pumping billions of dollars into the project. So far, SpaceX is in conjunction with NASA and is working towards a crewed mission to the Red Planet. Recently, Elon Musk revealed NASA's shocking discovery, something previously thought to never have existed there. Now, the big question you should ask is what did NASA discover and how does it affect the Mars project? Let's get into it already. Human activities like power generation and petroleum refining are all contributing factors to the deteriorating state of our planet. Global warming is on the rise and if theories are correct, our planet could end up in a ball of fire, toxic like Venus, thanks to global warming. Scientists are thinking of ways to expand our living borders, even though we are continuously reminded that the outside world is cold, hostile and cruel. This is what makes this recent NASA discovery a very exciting one. Until recently, the assumption has been that Earth is the only planet in the Milky Way capable of supporting life. But Elon Musk thinks otherwise. Right from when he launched SpaceX, Musk had intentions of sending humans to Mars one day. So, he partnered with NASA to land astronauts and other people on Mars by 2030. However, the difficulty lies in the general assumption that Mars is devoid of water for survival, with evidence dating back to 1970 when scientists discovered that Mars has no water, it's freezing and a very hostile planet. Another hiccup is how to transport people over 34 million miles at the closest point to the Red Planet. However, recent research shows that there might be water on the Red Planet after all. NASA's Mariner 9 and Viking space probes returned images that suggest a 12-mile lake a mile beneath the planet's south pole. The concluding evidence came from NASA's rover that landed on Mars's Gale Crater. A beacon showing on the Gale Crater caught the attention of scientists. It was not ice crystals, radio signals or magnetic force. Rather, it was a body of water. And that changed the course of everything we knew. The US Geological Survey made the same discovery, claiming eight places with signs of erosion and significant cross-sections of ice deposits running around 100 meters under the surface of the Red Planet. If the images from the space probes are correct, Mars might grow or can support life, which might be one of the most important discoveries since studying planets. But there's more to it. The water is almost inaccessible. If Elon Musk insists on his SpaceX project relocating humans to Mars, he will have to find the means of accessing the water deposits. The race for Mars now hinges on technology. NASA and Elon Musk, determined to bring a solution, came through with the Mars Ice Challenge. And it worked. In 2019, a West Virginia team won the competition using their prototype called Mountaineer Ice Drilling Automated System 111. The equipment can recognize, map and drill into the ice layers and extract water. Amazing, right? But the Ice Mars Challenge was only a part of the bigger picture. NASA had also partnered with mining companies to create an advanced mining technology capable of providing water necessary for living on Mars. 
This partnership yielded results like the World Is Not Enough project, which is a microwave oven-sized prototype spacecraft. The World Is Not Enough project can map and mine asteroids to extract water from them and use the water it mined for further mining. Though these methods haven't been tested out on Mars, they are very promising and could put an end to the Mars water issue scientists have been worried about for years. But other problems are hindering this project. The presence of water on the Red Planet leads to the assumption that life might grow or exist in the water puddles, meaning there could be microorganisms and bacteria on the Red Planet. In 2013, NASA's Curiosity rover found signs of organic matter in samples from Mars, and this recent discovery was made in an area where, in the distant past, sediment and salts were deposited into a lake where life could have potentially existed. The most abundant organic detections on the mission so far were recorded by the Sherlock instrument on Wildcat Ridge, but further study is needed to confirm the presence of ancient life in the samples as they will be returned to Earth for in-depth study as part of the Mars Sample Return Campaign. The Wildcat Ridge Sample, which is composed of sand, mud and salts, was formed in a time and environment where it is possible that life existed. The presence of organic matter in this type of rock, which is known for preserving fossils, is significant. However, the full examination of the sample will have to wait until it is brought back to Earth and studied as part of NASA's Mars Sample Return mission. However, it's uncertain whether these microbes can survive outside their water accommodation, and even more unclear how their existence affects us. No one has the answers to these questions, but at least we now know Mars is not as dry as we always thought, which means so much to Musk and the future of humanity that he provided a $10 million fund for further research. With the way this research goes, could Elon Musk colonize Mars by 2030? First will be the launch of a space probe rocket called the Interplanetary Transport System. This spacecraft will transport astronauts and launch from the 39-foot booster. The thrust necessary to launch this spacecraft is a whopping 28 million pounds and it accelerates at the speed of 5,374 miles per hour. This powerful machine is one of how Elon Musk intends to transport humans to Mars. Another concern he would have to surmount is the Martian atmosphere. Mars is not all roses and butterflies and sweet like our beloved Earth. The planet has a very thin atmosphere and frigid surface temperatures, and it is also bombarded by harmful radiation. However, scientists are studying ways to make Mars more habitable through terraforming which is the process of deliberately altering the environment of a planet to make it more hospitable to life. This would involve increasing the planet's atmospheric pressure and temperature, creating a more Earth-like climate, and possibly introducing Earth-like organisms to the planet's surface. However, these methods are still in the theoretical stage. There is a long way to go before we are able to make the planet truly habitable. But if his researchers can find a way to stabilize the atmosphere, this project will surely be a success. Musk's intention is to mine the water found from ice to liquid form, stabilize the atmosphere to accommodate man, harvest energy from the sun, and use the spacecraft fuel for other uses that might arise, or for the landing on the red planet. Then, transport people to the planet. In a statement where he expressed his confidence in his Mars project, he said, I think Mars is going to be a great place to go. It will be the planet of opportunity.